You ready to get in, right? So tell me what we need you for. You don't even know how much money is in this thing. You don't even know there's enough to spend. Let's do it the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way is what got you eight years. Doesn't matter if you're Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, or Mark Antony. A bitch always finds a way to fuck you over. It's my first time seeing this movie right here. Dog, awesome job. I was supposed to see it by the bistro, but I didn't. No, seriously, it's, it's an awesome job. It reminds me a lot of that Ocean's 8 mixed with uh, Snatch. I don't know if you've probably seen any of them, them heist movies before. Right, so it's kind of like that with a lot of uh, usual suspects. I don't know if you saw that one, but yeah, you know that one. Yeah, so awesome. Um, these characters, like... They, they, you, where did you get these characters from? The people you know in your, your life, or you just created them? They based on people you know. Um, the characters. Do, 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 do. Um, honestly, the concept for this entire film came from a dream I had. Um, just something I, I thought of, and I told V the idea, and I asked her to put it on paper because I, I couldn't write um, anything involving screenplays, anything of the sort back then at all. So I would give the idea to V, let V make it into something beautiful, and bada bing, bada boom, that's what we got. What's up, homie? <laughs> <laughs> for the cast, right? Uh, was it hard for you to get, this is any member of the cast, uh, and D'Angelo, um, was it hard for you to get into character, like how, what was your process in getting into your characters? Uh, how hard was it? Um, uh, I mean, it was a bit difficult at first because it was something new. I've never done like any type of character like that before. But I must say that um, Jeff, who everyone on set was really helpful, like the other actors, Lashan, Jeff was a great director, Bobby, so, like everyone kind of gave me like the backstory behind you to help me understand what's going on and I just kind of take whatever advice they gave me and I just channel that. Um, that's the best way I can explain it. Like I still don't know how I brought that person to life but I just had to get in that, like try my best to think like someone like him as fast as I possibly can. Getting into character, getting into character was um, a joy for me because this is something that I'm very passionate about. Uh, so when I got the script from V, uh, I read over the script and um, immediately went to the University of YouTube to look at some um, videos to, you know, uh, with similar characters to kind of mirror what is happening in those particular productions and see if I can bring it over to Liar's Dice. Well, I'm the rookie on this whole set and this is the first time I ever partake in any kind of movie or anything dealing with being in the front of a camera. So, but, you know, with the help of these guys, you know, it was, it was pretty easy because they were pretty much encouraging but you know I was nervous as hell but they said I was I did did good and, I, and it's the first time I've ever I've ever done anything like that so I look forward to doing it again you know I have people working with me like Sambo you know Sean and D'Angelo Jeff was right there especially V and especially she was she didn't really want all the cuss words neither did my grand auntie you know she's watching the video she's like what, why y'all cussing so much but you know, she realized that as a part of of this acting thing, and I think you know, getting into character, you know, I I don't know if I'm much of a of a Victor Valicious kind of do it. I'm a little bit more introverted than that. So you know, it was a deep side of me that probably wanted to come out <laughs> and came out anyway. It was like you know. This is a part of you. You need to be dark. <laughs> <laughs> so to say that I had a good supporting cast and it's pretty awesome. All right, I think the biggest transition for me was 
moving from stage to film and acting in that way. Like with film, you have a small box, like you have to focus and stage, you, you just be all over the place. So that was me. Um, I enjoyed the character. It was a fun character to portray. Um, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, it was a fun character to portray, and it, it wasn't that hard for me, to be honest. It was all right. One thing I think I, I enjoy about this film is that the angles aren't necessarily very traditional. Um, you use a lot of different variations. Was there like a shot list, storyboard? What, what was involved in your process in terms of getting or choosing the type of shots you, you, you actually flowed with? Well, um, I guess I can say there was a storyboard um, of some sort. You can, you can go with that. That's for the first part. For the first part, yeah. Um, but the, uh, the stylistic choice of uh, the way that we shot, the, the way that I shot the film um, was more to portray the different characters' emotions and the way where they were set up in each different uh, scene in the movie. So um, there, were, there were some times where, you know, we stuck to, uh, you know, just a traditional way of shooting. Um, but then we got a little bit artsy, so, so they say. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, just to portray the feelings of the character, the emotion, you know, the, the moment in a way we wanted the audience to feel like they were there, which I hope we did successfully. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much why we chose particular shots for particular things, just to convey a particular type of feel, you know. Oh, good. What, would you, what would you guys say would be the thing about your film that's going to cause your film to travel and get a lot of attention and what would you think would be the thing that would hinder you guys from getting international traction if there's any? Um, this particular film um, first of all the, the script um, when I first read the script I was excited, you know, to be a part of this particular production because uh, number one is totally different from the norm that's being filled within the Bahamas. Uh, I think we overstep so much different boundaries as it relates to filming um, and the script itself. Uh, the, actors, the actors gave an extra oomph to that particular uh, film because um, you would hear from the uh, testimonies from the other actors that a lot of them it was a far reach to get into that character because it's something that they're not really used to. So that shows the level of dedication that was placed into this particular production. And then the main thing is there's a lot of twists and turns within the movie. Um, one minute you see it looking like, okay, it's, like it's going this way. And then it takes a cut right and then back left. And so it has you, it has you engaged in the actual film. The, like, have you wondering what's, what's going to happen next? So I think... From that aspect alone, it, it, it would be a good contender crossing borders, um, especially coming from the Bahamas. Um, I, I would say a couple of years ago, we were in our infancy stage, stages of filming, but now we've grown tremendously, you know, as it relates to um, the film industry. Uh, trust me, watching this again, it's the first time I've watched this in a while. Um, Based on what I've learned now, there's a lot of things I would have done differently. Um, my cast would have been the same, though. I love my cast. But, <laughs> yeah, I love my cast. But um, only things that I would change would be in regards to a technical aspect. Um, aspect. What's the aspect? point? What the hell is that? <laughs> technical aspect. Um, there was a lot of uh, technical difficulties that we uh, uncovered on set that we didn't notice until it was way too late. It was way too late. Um, the main issue would have been, I'm pretty sure we all know the audio was, was an issue. Um, because we thought, honestly, we thought that the microphones were recording the whole time. But when we got back, you know, the check stops. Okay, cool, let's match this audio up. Blank. <laughs> Blank. So we had to rely on the audio that the camera picked up, which we all know isn't really the best. But um, what I think would propel this film even further Overall, I think it's just the overall concept because I've never seen a Bohemian film with this uh, particular style 
because normally what I've seen with Bohemian films, they always try to go either the gospel route or the positive route, but a lot of films are afraid to get yeah. nitty gritty and actually tackle those topics that will make people uncomfortable. With me, I love to make people uncomfortable. It's one of my favorite pastimes. I do that stuff on a daily. So at any, anything I could do, especially in the field that I love, to draw that out of people, be like, I don't think he should use that much curse words, or why is there guns, why is there blood? Those are the things I want to get across because I want to press those buttons. So hopefully that in itself um, would get people talking to propel it even further because out of this country, there's not much films tackling these gritty topics. How long did the script take for you to write and what, all, what was the process in your script writing? Um, I can't remember how long it took. It, it did take... Um, well, it's different when you have a deadline. So because we um, decided to enter into a film festival, we had to also um, bear in mind we need to confirm location, we need to confirm actors, um, a bunch of different stuff. We have to shoot it, edit it in time. So um, there was a bit of a pressure to get it done. Um, I, I can't say, I can't remember how long. Like, it took... Yeah, it took like a couple of weeks or something to really kind of get it out. It took a, a, a good few weeks just because um, with the concept, I wanted to make sure that the story was interesting, um, that the story was something that um, you wouldn't see but can believe can happen. Like that what if, what if someone actually tried this? And the biggest challenge was making sure that everyone had different personalities because I write and I speak a certain way. And the way that I speak is not really the characters or anything like that. So making sure that they had their own voices. So sometimes I would walk away from the script. Um, I often had Jeff, though, was looking at the script. Um, my crew looking at the script before we got the actors and, you know, give me feedback and then come back at it. So it was just a matter of looking at it, thinking that I like it, listening to someone else's point of view, um, taking that and then editing it until... I felt like, okay, yeah, this is this is the story. And then I love a plot twist, so I always had to, also had to factor in the plot twist. What would be that interesting thing that no one saw coming? And that was easy to do, actually. That was, that was the fun part um, to complete. But that's normally the process. I write, I share, I get feedback, and I go back at it until I have a piece about the piece. Yeah. What would you say was the hardest part of the production the filming filming inside the house uh we had that house for one day we, we rented the house for one day we rented the house for one day so we started filming from like after 10 in the morning and we finished close to 5 a.m the following day it the but it comes to the territory so that the entire time was inside the house that was the roughest point we had one day to get all the interior shots at that house one day yeah, AM to AM, and these batteries dying. But yeah. What was your What was your goal? What was your goal for this film? Were you Were you aiming to hit international competition? Were you aiming to find a market here locally? Um, were you aiming to make some money? Like, what was your aim? Um, honestly, to be honest, I was just thinking about film festivals and just trying to get it seen. Um, the whole money aspect didn't really, you know, come to mind, even though you should, you should try to make money from your films. But that was the furthest thing from my mind in regards to this film. I just literally wanted it to be seen. This is the very first film I ever directed. I've never done a short, never done a music video, never done anything else before I did this. It's my very first one. But, I mean, I just wanted people to see it. I wanted people to appreciate a, a, a different avenue in regards to behemoth filmmaking other than the norm. So I just wanted to be that little thorn on people's side. Be like, okay, cool, everything is nice and kosher. We have our gospel films, our positive films, and then this lies, dice come out of nowhere, like, uh, you know, job on the side. Like, but what is this? So my main thing is to stir conversation. That's, that's basically what I want. Just stir conversation, let it be seen. I wasn't thinking too much in regards to international uh, recognition, but um, we did have some sort of play at the uh, widescreen festival. Um, they uh, played the trailer there, and, and from what I understand, the, the feedback was, was positive. The feedback was actually awesome from it. So if it gets further on, then so be it. But if not, I'm, I'm quite satisfied for what it is 